Stefanowski's team claims the independent party flagrantly violated their own bylaws, and now he's filed a lawsuit hoping to force the secretary of the state to remove independent candidate Rob Hodling and his running mate from the November ballot. Really what they're trying to do is limit choice uh, for hundreds of thousands of voters across the state. Hodling says he expected this legal challenge after a heated independent party caucus last week. Hodling, the party endorsed candidate one with a now contested tie-breaking vote from the independent party chairman. Stefanowski initially led Hodling by four votes, 79 to 75, but a win requires 80, so party officials initiated a second ranked choice ballot leading to a 79-79 tie. I think that there's a reason why Bob wants me off the ballot. It's because Republicans have controlled the independent line for many election cycles. Stefanowski's team wouldn't comment on the lawsuit. The secretary of the state, a defendant in this case, said in a statement he has no authority to resolve disputes over party rules such as this. The Democratic ticket also weighing in. Lieutenant Governor candidate Susan Bysowitz said she doubts this lawsuit will be successful. Parties have the constitutional right to choose whom they would like to endorse. So I can't see how uh, the independent party's endorsement of Rob Hodling changes at all. Hodling says his team will be watching these legal proceedings but are moving full steam ahead with their campaign. We're confident that we're on the right side of history on this and Bob and his team are on the wrong side of history on this. Stefanowski did have the independent party's endorsement back during his 2018 campaign. This lawsuit aims to remove the entire independent party governor's ticket from November's ballot, but does not seek a second line for Stefanowski. We'll continue following this story for you. Live in the newsroom, Emma Wolforst, Fox 61 News.